What's up everybody? This week brought one, two, three different firsts into my life. Number one is I took a private plane. Number two is I went to a Las Vegas nightclub and it changed my life. And number three is I missed a gig. On what planet does Justin Muncy miss a gig? A, I take pretty much every gig I'm offered because I'm that guy. B, I'm super reliable, or at least I thought I was. Crazy story. What I learned, number one, is don't fly back the same day as your gig. Terrible idea. However, this wasn't entirely my fault because A, I can't control what the plane's doing. I'm supposed to fly back from Vegas to Orange County and I pre-planned because I knew I would have to drive from Orange County to Los Angeles, okay? And if you don't know, that's about an hour drive without traffic and with traffic, which basically, you know, is 25 hours out of the 24 hours in the day. Hour and a half up to three hours. Really just depends on when you leave. My plane is supposed to land at 12.15 and I had all my gear with me and I was literally five minutes from the airport, right? So I would get there, I'd be able to work a little bit, head up to LA, make it in plenty of time for a 5.30 load in sound check. I get to the airport and I'm flying private. Bougie. The lady at the airport checks me in, seems all good. She's like, would you like a donut, sir? Or some fresh brewed Starbucks coffee? And I'm like, yeah. I'll have some of that. I actually did have my sunglasses on because I wanted people to believe that I could afford the plane I was about to get on. I kid you not. Gucci, Prada, TJ Maxx, everything designer. I'm walking in and I got my freaking Adidas on. Basically this, I don't look like bougie. I sit down, pull up my laptop and I go, let me check my email like a good student. Let me make a call. And I call and I'm on the phone doing work calls. 10 minutes, 10 minutes before we're supposed to board the plane and I hear an announcement. Hello, attention all of our JetSuite X customers. I'd like to inform you that our current flight to Orange County, leaving in approximately 10 minutes, is canceled. Sorry for the inconvenience. We'll call you up individually to see what your options may be. Thank you very much and have a terrific day in Las Vegas. So I go up to the counter and lady goes, the soonest flight we have back to Orange County is at 2.15. And I'm like, is there any other option that I can get back sooner? And she goes, no, this is the soonest. Even if we were to transfer you to another plane, it wouldn't leave until 2.45. And I'm like, well, that's way too late. 2.15 it is. I'm gonna go to the MGM Grand. I'm gonna get some food. I'm gonna go look at Hakkasan and pretend what it's like to be in there. I'm a little worried. I text my artist, I go, hey, guess what? My flight got canceled. But there's a plane leaving at 2.15. I'll get back at 3.15, head straight there. Shouldn't be a problem. I might be like 10, 15 minutes late. So she texts me back and she's like, cool, let me know if something changes. I get there, do my thing. I get a text. It says, hey, your flight just got delayed again to 2.45. And I'm just like, how does this happen? I'm on a freaking private jet. Like, what is this? This isn't Spirit Airlines. I'm gonna call these fools because I need to know for a fact that this is leaving at 2.45. I am landing at 3.45 and I'm hitting the road by four. I'm missing sound check, but I'm still making the show. And the lady goes, yeah, no, there's no way this is getting delayed again. This is so uncommon for us. You'll be in the air by 2.45. And I said, okay, great. I go to the airport at two o'clock. Guess what? Delay! What is going on here? No one is telling me anything. How are we delayed again? So I have to tell my artist, like, hey, can you find a backup guitarist for tonight? Because I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna land at like four something, and with traffic, it could be up to three hours, and I might miss the beginning of the show. I'm feeling terrible for her, because I don't want her to be stressed out. I want her to have a good show. I feel terrible for myself. I'm losing a gig! 3.15 rolls around, guess what? We're still not getting on the plane. They're still working on it, and then they say there is a ground stop or whatever the heck the correct terminology is at the airport. Because there's like a freaking sandstorm. Dear Lord, if I had driven in the morning when I woke up, I could have been in Orange County by now. My ship was sunk and we got on the plane around 3.45. I didn't get back till 5.30. The artist was able to find a replacement, which is great for her. And I was like, there goes that gig. Now for the more exciting stuff. I got to fly private, which I've never done before. They have the bougiest snacks. I sit down on the plane like the peasant that I am, and I'm like trying to be cool about like, 
getting a picture and I'm like, maybe I'll selfie, you know. This is a good angle. Dating app profile pic. The stewardess comes around, she's like, would you like a drink, sir? And I was thinking maybe I'll get a LaCroix and be really fancy. What do you have to drink? And she's like, we have everything included. Would you like some alcohol, sir? Yeah! Yeah, I'll take a beer, and then she goes, lager or ale? And I'm like thinking in my head, I don't even know what the difference is. And so I just said, I'll take a lager. Meanwhile, the homeboy next to me got a freaking triple of whiskey. And I'm like, he figured this out. I land in Vegas, and Vegas is not my place. If you know me at all, or you can kind of get a gist of who I am from these videos, I'm not like a huge partier. I don't like going to very loud clubs and the bars. I enjoy drinking, not a big gambler. Like, I don't know, Vegas is not my town. But that all changed this time. That was the most fun trip I've had in a very long time. And I've had a lot of fun trips. So I'm hanging out with my girl Manal and my girl Karina, and I'm like, yo, let's go to the day clubs. Sun's out, gun's out, I've been hitting the gym so hard. It's time. And they're like, Justin, we're at the Flamingo. There's not gonna be cute girls. I'll be a big fish in a small pond. <laughs> Anyway, I just keep up, please, please, please. And they're like, yes, okay, we'll go. And I'm like, hell yeah. So we hit up a happy hour, and then when we're at happy hour, homegirls are like, Justin, we're not going. And I was like, no. It was 115 degrees. It wasn't gonna be that great. It just looked like a pool with a bunch of people at it. I mean, what am I gonna do? I'm not one of those, like, hey, babe. What's up? Oh my god, here's my number. I'm more like one of those, yeah, yeah, I got this, I got this. I don't got it. I'm gonna stand here and maybe someone will approach me, and I'll just smile. We get the grand idea that why don't we go to a nightclub because it turns out Manal has the freaking hookup. So we go to Omnia and I'm like super stoked. It's 12.30 and I'm like, wow, we're going to a club, man. We're going to a club. Dude, there's so many layers of security. We're dressed to the nines. We get in and literally my life changed. I like EDM music. I have appreciated it for a bit, but I've never been like, that's it. I need to be a DJ. I've never felt that. Until now. We went and saw Borges. He was amazing. I've never seen such cool stuff. And I think part of it was we were in the DJ booth. We were in like the most VIP part of the thing you could be in. There were free drinks, it wasn't crowded, and you could see everything. And literally the DJ was like, like, I'm touching the DJ right now. That's how close we were. There's amazing synchronized lights. Oh, losing my bracelet. It was bumping in there. People are all dressed up and having a good time. They're like dancing, you know, like. Yeah, girl. Hey. You know, we're all having a good time and I just started watching the DJ and I was. This production took so much time, and it's not just pressing spacebar. There's an element of it that, it, that, I mean, I don't know how much of it is like live, but they do cool tricks with the mixing. I think it's just more the overall experience of being a hype man, and the time that went into producing that set, how everything flowed seamlessly, how the lights dropped down on people, and it was like, <laughs> Steam comes out and confetti, and I mean, I've never seen anything like that. And I was like, I need to be a DJ. And so that's what I'm gonna do. There was literally a part in the show where homeboy Borges got on stage. He pulled a Kanye West. Omnia! The entire club goes, ah! There's confetti, there's steam. <laughs> Oh, and they really like that one, you know. Bop, 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 bop. It was incredible. I am seriously putting my time and efforts into being a DJ now because I feel inspired again. <laughs> this is the first time I've felt this excited about music in years. It's not to say that I don't love music, but it almost feels like I re-fell in love with music. And I've been listening to EDM nonstop, been working on a lot of tracks. I was actually working on tracks before this experience and this kind of solidified it. Maybe I was supposed to miss that gig because I needed this experience to like realign my path in music and what the next step was. I feel like so stoked. I'm alive again. I just wanted to share that with you, I hope you got a good laugh out of this, and if you enjoyed it, I would so appreciate it if you like and you comment, you subscribe, you can hit the notification thing. If you want to keep up with my other adventures, you can follow me on Instagram. It's just my name, at Justin Muncy. Get ready for my DJ music. It is coming. This project's going to be really cool. I'm trying to get all of my musical friends involved to make something really incredible, so be on the lookout for that, and I will see you next time. Bye.